project, how to make IR remote control circuit using NE555 timer on breadboard. In this video I will tell you in detail how to make IR remote control circuit using NE555 timer on breadboard. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Components required for this project. Number 1. Breadboard. You see in the video is called breadboard. Number 2. NE555 timer. You see in the video is called NE555 timer. Number 3. Photodiode. You see in the video is called photodiode. Number 4. Transistor BC547. You see in the video is called BC547 transistor. Number 5. Capacitor. You see in the video is called capacitor. Number 6. Resistor of 100 kilo ohm. Number 7. Resistor of 10 kilo ohm, two numbers. Number 8. Resistor of 220 ohm. Number 9. 12 volt DC light. Number 10. IR remote. You see in the video is called IR remote. Number 11. Connecting wires. Now let's start the project. First of all we will take breadboard. Now, we will take the NE555 timer, and, install it on the breadboard like this. Now we will take a connecting wire and short the pin 2 and pin 6 with each other of the NE555 timer IC. Now we will take another connecting wire and short pin 4 and pin 8 with each other off NE555 timer IC, like this. Now we will take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect it between pin 1 and pin 2 of NE555 timer IC in the same way you see in the video. Now we will take another 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect it between pin 6 and pin 8 of the NE555 timer IC in the same way you see in the video. Now we will take the transistor BC547 and install it on the breadboard as you can see in the video. Now we will take the photodiode and install it on the breadboard in such a way that its negative pin is connected to the base pin of transistor BC547. Now we will take a 220 ohm resistor and connect it between pin 4 of the NE555 timer and the positive pin of the photodiode as you see in the video. Now we will take a 100k ohm resistor and connect it to the NE555 timer pin 3 and the collector pin of transistor BC547. Now we will take a 50 volt 1 microfarad capacitor and install it on the breadboard in such a way that its positive pin is connected to the base pin of transistor BC547. Now we will take a connecting wire through which we will connect the negative pin of the 50 volt 1 microfarad capacitor with the pin 1 of the NE555 timer as you can see in the video. Now we will take another connecting wire through which we will connect pin 6 of NE555 timer to emitter pin of transistor BC547 as you can see in the video. Here is the circuit diagram of this project if you want to download link is available in description. Now we will take another connecting wire and extension from pin 1 of NE555 timer as you see in the video.
Also we will take another connecting wire and extension from pin 3 of NE555 timer as you see in the video. Now we will connect pin 1 of the NE555 timer with a connecting wire to the negative point of the 12 volt supply as you see in the video. Now we will connect pin 8 of the NE555 timer with a connecting wire to the positive point of the 12 volt supply as you see in the video. Now we will take a 12 volt DC light and connect its negative wire to pin 1 of NE555 timer and its positive wire to pin 3 of NE555 timer as you can see in the video. Now we will connect this circuit with the 12 volt supply as you can see in the video we have connected the negative wire of 12 volt supply to the negative point of 12 volt supply of the circuit and the positive wire of 12 volt supply to the circuit is connected to the positive point of the 12 volt supply. Similarly, this circuit is complete with us, now I will show you practically whether it is working or not. As you can see in the video that the circuit I made is working properly and the light is on and off from the IR remote. Thank you for watching the video if you like this video and want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my YouTube channel.